first, I want to welcome each and every one of our folks here. Let me tell you, thank you so much for joining us. This is a singular event. And when I say singular, I mean singular. That means something that has never happened before and something that will probably never happen again in the same way. You know, when, when the universe reveals itself, every moment is separate and distinct. And though things may appear to repeat, they don't because they're at a different point in time and space. And I, I'm really honored tonight to really introduce and share a friend. And when I say a friend, let me tell you, uh, we go back to the days of Dick Gregory. I, if you remember Les with the Bahamian diet and we had a, we had a group of fellas then who were, who were, we talk about entrepreneurs, Ali Yassin and Ali Jefferson and you, myself, let's see who else, that, 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 that was a group of, you might say speakers, speakers and entrepreneurs who were real entrepreneurs. As a matter of fact, Ali Yassin had a birthday party and invited Reverend Ike. And uh, Reverend Ike told me, he said, you know, uh, Reverend Harris, I don't like boats. And I said, uh, I understand, Reverend. So I didn't think he was going to go. He said, but I love to watch people circulate their money. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so Ali had the, the uh, event started at 12 midnight. And uh, Reverend Ike came down and he, he told me, he said, you know, I don't like boats, so I rented a, a small charter boat to follow our boat, so in case he wanted to leave. He never liked to be anywhere where he was not in control. <laughs> <laughs> so this way, when he wanted to leave, he could leave. I love that. <laughs> so we went back. I, I see Hope Ellis, she's a Revanite fan, just joined us. Uh, but we went back to the days of Dick Gregory, the Bahamian diet, and it was really an era of young men who were beginning to understand personal development, personal growth. We were studying and walking on the hot coals with Tony Robbins and flying through the air with, um, what was the fellow, Life Spring, and I mean, uh, S with um, Werner yeah, Earhart. Everybody wanted to know what was the secret to success, how to be better, how to be, how to be incredible, how to get beyond themselves. And out of that group emerged, I might say, the legendary one of us all, and that is my friend Les Brown. And I have followed, yes, yes, I have followed Les for so many years. I mean, we watch and we chat, chat and have a good time hollering on the phone. Sometimes you think we kind of lost our mind. I'd hate to be in the next room, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. But one of the things that has always moved me about him was he was always authentic. And Les always impressed me with his authenticity and his ability to capture ideas and, and carve ideas and put them in a, in a very simple form that when he said it, it was like he was planting a seed in your consciousness and you would transform instantly. The reason we really came together this time was twofold. One, I've been really working on a course for entrepreneurs because with this pandemic, people need to really look at a whole new way of doing things. The old stuff is absolutely obsolete. And as I was working on that, I listened to a video, a YouTube video by my friend, Les Brown. And it said something profound. It said, work on you. And man, I sat up in my chair and I felt like, um, who is it? Uh, the Greek uh, scientist. I felt like Eureka. <laughs> I felt like Eureka. I have found it. And with that one thought, work on you, I was able to look at something I had already done, the courses I had taught before, and I thought back on a message that uh, Adam Clayton Powell, one of the great congressmen used to share, and it was called, what's in my hands? What's in your hands? And what he was saying was that you already have everything you need to get everything you want. And after I heard Les Brown say, work on you, I reached out to him and I said, we got to come, we got to share. And Les said, I'll help you. Want to introduce, want to help entrepreneurs? Let's do it. And so let me give you 
my friend, legendary, incredible speaker, leader, and even more so, an incredible thought leader, Les Brown. Thank you very much. It's a plum pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege to be able to share some thoughts with you. It's an honor to serve Dr. Harris. He's a person that there's a saying, judge a person not by what they do, but what they do that they don't have to do. And to, try, to, to judge a true quality is what they do when nobody's looking. And I just want to say thank you to you publicly. You, you've been watching me, but not just watching me. You've been sending stuff to me, vitamins and herbs to keep me alive, <laughs> unsolicited. And I just thank you so much. I've not, in all my years of speaking, you're the only person. I don't care where I move. Somehow you find out where I am and they show up, show up in the mailbox. <laughs> So, so when you say you have something, I'm going to be there, let the record show everybody else will have to pay. But you, all you have to do is call and I'm going to be there. I want to share these thoughts with everybody that's listening, listening right now. I don't believe there's any accident that you're on this call. I've come to believe at this stage of my life at 75 that everything happens for a reason. Everything. When I look back at my life, there are some times when you experience something, you think it happened to you, but as you go forward into the future, you realize it happened for you. When I was fired from radio, I thought that happened to me, but had I not been fired, I would have never became a state legislator. Had I not been fired, I'd have never developed the skill set to go forward and become a motivational speaker and speak in over 51 countries and be able to buy four different homes for my mother who adopted my brothers and sisters and I. I'm here because of two women. One gave me life, the other one gave me love. I often say in, in quoting Abraham Lincoln, all that I am and all that I ever hope to be, I owe to my mother. And, and had I not been fired, I would have never been able to touch over a billion people's lives around the globe. And I don't say this to impress you, but to impress upon you that you have something special. You have greatness in you. Nobody could have convinced me or anybody who knew me. I was born in a poor section of Miami, Florida called Liberty City, an abandoned building on a floor with a twin brother, Wesley. When I was in the fifth grade, I was identified as EMR labeled educable mentally retarded and put back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade, failed again when I was in the eighth grade, have no college training. But because of someone like Dr. Herbert Harris, who looked beyond my faults and saw my needs of, for needing guidance and, and my willingness to be open to the possibility that I could do better, that I can have more. I just was not happy being poor. You know, people say money won't make you happy, but everybody want to find out for themselves. <laughs> I used to be so broke, I walked past the bank and, and tripped the alarm. <laughs> so I remember the time my children would answer the telephone about, and they would say, my daddy say he ain't home. <laughs> So I want you to think about your goals and your dreams. What do you want to do? How do you see yourself when this goes past us? And this has not come to stay. It has come to pass. At some point, we're going to go through this. What are you preparing? What is it that you are doing? My, my daughter, Dr. Ona Brown, she said that gaps are from God. And we got a gap here to spend time with each other, to turn to each other rather than on each other and to work on ourselves. My favorite book says, commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Commit thy works, works, your internal work, working on you, developing you, there's joy in being you and doing the things that allow you to look at the life that you've lived up to this point and say, okay, I've done that. 
now looking at past the pandemic, he said, I'll give you all your eyes can see. And what does the next chapter look like for your life? And who is it you have to become? Paul said, I must die daily. As you look at yourself, what is it that you know that you don't need to take into the future? What behavior, what choices, what places that you can never go back to? Because that's not you. What relationships that you have outgrown? You know, I found that life is like an elevator. The higher you go up, you got to stop and let some people off. <laughs> And, and, and ask yourself, what are the relationships that I have now, what are they doing to me? Am I growing mentally and emotionally and spiritually? Am I becoming a better person because of these relationships? You earn within two to $3,000 of your closest friends. I believe that life is built on transformations, disruptions, and miracles. We're going through a transformation now. Our lives will never be the same again after the coronavirus. We've had the rug snatched out from under us. I, I, I'm reminded of a quote that said, many times in our lives, when the very core of our being has been shaken, we run to God only to discover that it's God that's doing the shaking. And this is that kind of period in life. We're going through a major transformation. It's like a caterpillar when it goes into the cocoon. It's not in there watching CNN or MSNBC. No, the, the caterpillar is not watching pornography. No, it's not doing any of that kind of stuff. It's in there working on the next greatest version of itself. It's going through a transformation and disruptions. We always have disruptions. But Dr. Alfred Gosen, who was a top oncologist, who said to me, Mr. Brown, you have cancer, prostate cancer. That was disruptive. Those, you know, cancer is, is the most feared word in seven different languages. And he said, your PSA is 2,400. I said, what does that mean? He said, one to four is normal. Yours is 2,400. Mm. I said, is there anything else? He said, yes. And you're ugly too. <laughs> I said, no, you didn't. You didn't go there. He said, yes, I did. <laughs> he said, but you got this. He said, I never tell my patients they're terminally ill. What I say is that my knowledge and ability and my skills have terminated. Now, the prognosis is up to you and God. And because of that approach that he took, I left there not with a heart full of fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of, of love and of power and of sound mind. You can't be in your right mind when you are filled with fear. But I left there with faith that I will get through this. I don't know what's going on in your life and, and where you are or the people in your life, but here's what I know. We're here because of God's grace and mercy. Here's what I know, that we have another shot. We have another chance. Here's what I know, that the best is yet to come. And so life is built upon transformations, disruptions, and miracles. That there are some things that you can do that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered the heart of mankind what God has in store for you. Coming out of this pandemic will be millionaires, will be billionaires, and witnesses. And Dr. Herbert Harris asked a profound question, should you become an entrepreneur, this online study course that he has put together? so that you can be in the first two categories, a millionaire or billionaire. Choose ye this day whom ye shall serve, what you want to do. Because if you're open to the possibilities, if you're not willing to learn, nobody can help you. But if you're willing to learn, nobody can stop you. 
And, and that's where he has anchored himself to provide a course that will give you the methods and techniques of what it is that you can do to become, as Mother Teresa would say, a pencil in the hand of God and start writing the next chapter of your life. So there are really, I think, there are three types of people. They're winners, they're losers, and they're people who have not discovered how to win. And when you invest in yourself, they asked Warren Buffett during the middle of the last recession, what's the most important investment one should make? He, he said something that shocked the reporter. Here's a man that has billions of dollars in real estate, billions of dollars in the stock market. And he said, the most important investment that you can make is in yourself. And this online course is an investment that you're making in you so that you'll be able to soar to new heights, so that you'll be able to take your knowledge. And this is what they call the attention economy, so that you can draw attention to your knowledge and your skills and your ability and your story and carve out a place for yourself in the marketplace. So I want to share with you three points. Number one, work on your mindset. They, they did a study of some top 3,000 entrepreneurs from around the world, and they wanted to find out what was the common denominator among them that allowed them to reach their goals. And here's what they discovered. 85% of them became successful because of their attitude. 15% because of their aptitude. So when you work on your mind, it takes mental resolve in order to get through this place where we are. There's a reason that only 1% make it. Why? The road to life is straight and narrow and few there be that find it because few there be that are willing to be persistent. Few there be that are willing to persevere. Few there be that are, that are hungry those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. People that are hungry believe always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. People that are hungry know you will fail your way to success. People that are hungry take no prisoners and eat the wounded. <laughs> so I want to ask you, as you look at yourself, look at your goals and look at what it is you want to do. What radical changes that are gonna take place in you? Because if you go into 2021 with a 2020 mindset, that won't cut it. Einstein said, the thinking that has brought me this far has created some problems that this thinking can't solve. So working on your mindset is crucial. So here's something I want you to do, and I'm going to give you a gift because of Dr. Herbert Harris and, and how he has gifted me with products. I didn't ask him for it, but he felt that it would be helpful with my challenge. I've been kicking cancer's butt for 29 years. I'm here in Atlanta at Cancer Centers of America. I go for treatment every three months, and they are fascinated. 29 years, fourth stage cancer. They said, man, wow. And, and so I'm I want you to email me and put in the heading, Dr. Herbert Harris. And what I'm going to do is send you some motivational material that will help to strengthen your resolve, that will help to transform your mindset. Be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's very important. Here's the next thing. As you think about your goals and dreams, there's no question that you should become an entrepreneur. Well, for 50 million people that have lost their jobs, millions of people are being foreclosed on very shortly, and millions of people are going to be going through evictions. They're saying that millions of Americans are about to go through financial ruin. The 40-40 plan is over. We can go to college, graduate, and get a job and work for 40 years. That day is gone, not to come back ever again. 
47 million jobs will be lost, not only to the coronavirus, but to artificial intelligence. Mm. So this is the time that you have to be, as these millennials say, be your own boss. Don't think in terms of a job, the journey of the broke. Think in terms of throwing your net on the other side on how you can begin to, and I want you to write this down, never give your power away to the adversities of life. That's what the N and net stands for. You are made in the likeness and image of God. You've been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth. Never give your power away. And you've given it away, take it back. I'll never forget when I was going through a foreclosure and I lost the first home that I bought for my mother because I didn't do a title search and I was feeling defeated and humiliated and standing behind the truck, unloading it and crying and feeling shame. And my mother came to me and said, Leslie, what's wrong? I said, mama, I feel so sorry. I, I let you down, I made a mistake. She said, boy, hold your head up. I said, mama, I, 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 I feel so bad right now. She said, hold your head up, boy. You have nothing to be ashamed of. We still have each other. Hold your head up and take that furniture in the house. Whoa, that struck me. And when we went in, the roaches were very excited to see us. Whoa, look at God, Mamie's back. Oh, we're gonna have some sweet potato pie now. My mother could fix a sweet potato pie so good you could eat it with your shoes on. Yeah, you take your shoes off so you can wiggle your toes. Mamie's back, whoa, come on now. Come on, somebody. <laughs> oh, that was a tough time for me, but Robert Shill had a point. Tough times never last, but tough people do. The stuff that we're going through right now, we've got to be tougher. I remember when Bob Molly was asked by a reporter, why are you here to do a concert tonight? You just got shot the other day. You could have said, hey, let's cancel the concert. Give me more time to heal. And he said, people who bring darkness in the world, and evil in the world, don't take a day off. Why should I? Wow. Just think about that. And so when you have goals and dreams, I ask people, how many of you know, if you had your life to live over again, you could have done more than what you've done thus far. And I'm the first to raise my hand. And, and most people do that in a moment of honesty. And so we're living in a time that A.L. Williams said, all you can do is all you can do. And all you can do is enough, but make sure you do all you can do. So this is a time to work on your mind. So when you email me at lesbrown77 at gmail.com and, and you put Dr. Herbert Harris in there, in the line, I'm going to send you some things that will fortify you. There's an African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Shakespeare said, the fort, dear Buddhas, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Here's the next thing. As you look at yourself, look at your goals and look at your dreams. And this is a time that you have to take charge of your financial future. Yes, mama may have, papa may have, but God bless the child that has his own. This is the time that you've got to bet on you. You can do more than you can ever begin to imagine. Bet on you. When you're willing and open to learn, as I said, nobody can stop you if you're willing to learn. Bet on you, invest in you, because you are more powerful than you give yourself credit for being. Sometimes we don't know how strong we are until we have to be strong. And so when you think about yourself, think about your goals, it's very important to have a, a mindset of optimism. Most people are very negative right now and filled with fear. I love the acronym that that Zig Ziglar used. He said, most people in a fearful situation, they forget everything and run. 
But there's a few people who face everything and rise. And when you read the online course, should you become an entrepreneur, you'll learn the strategies and the techniques you need so that you can rise and build a legacy for your family and live a life that will outlive you. Here's the next thing that's important, and you're doing this right now. Create a group of collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships. One goose can fly 75% further in formation with other geese than it can ever fly by itself. You can't make it by yourself today. You have to have collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships. Look at people and, and, and go on a talent hunt and watch them and observe them because you're looking for what I call OQP, only quality people. Everybody don't need to be in your life. There's some people that's always there when they need you, but when you need them, you can't find them. So you wanna vet them. You wanna test them. You wanna give them a 90 day trial to see if they fit on your team. You have a lot of pretenders out here, but there are some people that's hungry, some people that's coachable, some people that's willing to learn. And especially in this market, oh, let me share with you. Here we have Disney just laid off 28,000 people, Southwest Airlines, 6,800 people. Listen, the, the list goes on and on and on. And so you got some good pickings right now. You're the only game in town, becoming an entrepreneur, striking strategic partnerships, just like Dr. Harris and I are doing right now. And so as you look at your goals and look at your dreams and you work on yourself, when you begin to know that you are more than what you have done thus far, and that there's a power and a presence in you, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. That there are things that you are capable of doing that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered the heart of mankind what God has in store for you. Given my beginning, if my birth parents stepped in here now and said, hello, son, I would not know either one. Never seen him, never did a search for him on 23 and Me. Mamie Brown is my mama. When mama <laughs> who adopted us, when Father's Day came around, we gave her Father's Day card. She's mama and daddy all wrapped in one. I'm a product of a sperm donor and a receiver. <laughs> but I'm glad to be here. Let the record show. God took me out of my biological mother's womb and placed me in the heart of my adopted mother. And so we're here because of God's grace and mercy. We, I love that song by Luther Barnes. Oh, come on somebody. I'm taking voice lessons so I can sing it to you. God's grace, oh, you can't handle the voice. That's another ticket up in here, up in here. I know y'all laughing at me because I got this 1980 flat top. If you saw the movie House Party, Kid and Play, I'm kid. <laughs> Oh, behave, hello, whatever. So, so I like to leave this with you. You have something special. You have greatness in you. You're part of a community and have some great leadership. And Dr. Herbert Harris, who has integrity and a passion to bring out the greatness in you. When you're pursuing your greatness, you don't know what your limits are. So you act like you don't have any. And when you invest in yourself to get the online course, should, should you become an entrepreneur, it will take you to a place in yourself that you can't go by yourself because you, you can't read the label when you're locked in the box. All of us at different points in our lives need someone to lead us to the greatness that we have within. You can't see the picture when you're in the frame. 
So this is Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy and Dr. Herbert Harris's pride and joy saying, you have something special. You have greatness in you. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye for now. Right. <laughs> Ooh, man, folks, folks, folks. Now, let me say, let me tell you something. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, thank you, sir. It's time for my bedtime. I'm 75. It's time for old people to go to sleep. <laughs> go ahead, man. And, and when you get there, tell them I'll be there soon. All right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, Bye thank you so now. much for having me on. Take and care. Thank you, my friend, for being here. Yes, it's my pleasure to serve you. Yes. <laughs> wow. Let me, uh, folks, let me uh, just catch my breath a minute here. Doc, we have any hot questions? That was awesome. People want to know, of course, how to be in touch with you. Yes. Brown. We placed the uh, hard address, the P.O. Box 302, Uh Wilmington, North Carolina. That's it. 28402. Is there an email, another way they can reach you, Dr. Harris? Herbert at HerbertHarris.com. Herbert at HerbertHarris.com. And you have more in the presentation for us tonight? Yes. You have an actual PowerPoint for us? Yes, I want to share with you. And first, let me tell you, everybody, I just thank you all for showing up because I'm going to tell you something. What what Les shared with us tonight, I think you get a flavor of what I heard the other day. And it's funny, when you hear stuff early in the morning, it's something about when you're troubled or when you can't sleep or when you're wondering what's going on and you 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 wake up in the morning and for some reason you hit a button and you turn on a TV or you pop, pop on a computer, the very thing that you need to see is right there. And when I heard Les share that, that whole piece that he was about, you know, work on you, it said to me that it was time for me to go and pull out something that we had done a long time ago. And that made me put together something. Les said something also, but he said, don't, if you're doing a home-based business, you better do a home-based education. And so what I wanted to share with you is that the fact that what we're doing now is giving people an opportunity to go into business for themselves. Let me, uh, let me do my uh, slide thing properly. This is a brand new, you know, when we get our computers and they update our stuff, let's see, here we go, I got it now. <laughs> so what I wanna tell you about is a home study course to help you become an entrepreneur. So many times we hear about entrepreneurship, but we really don't really understand it. And one of the things I've been in, in network marketing and a business person. I've been a lawyer, uh, a realtor. I've run film companies. I've run computer companies. And one of the things that you begin to learn about being an entrepreneur and being in business for yourself is that there are a lot of people that really, I I won't say they're misled, but it's, it's just that they don't get the full story. And when we look at this time where we are right now, where we have the pandemic and we have the things going on right now, I decided after hearing less, I said, let me, let me put together a course. And when I looked into my, you know, you know, many times you look into your, uh, your, uh, what would you call it? Your, uh, your vault, your, your knowledge vault. And you say to yourself, man, you know, there's some things in here I kind of forgotten about. Let me pull them out. And so when we went back into that knowledge vault, I found a course that I had been teaching to entrepreneurs and people who were considering going in the business. And I said, let me put this into a digital format and let me share it with the world. And so how to become an entrepreneur, should you be an entrepreneur? This is a quick overview. And all of you know, well, this is Dr. Herbert Harris and I've been involved in 
businesses, a retired attorney, a director of the Science of Living Institute where I worked with Reverend Ike. I've done businesses all of my life. Uh, that's with the president of one of our top network marketing companies uh, with Stedman Graham there and with uh, Eric Warre, one of the great trainers in the network marketing arena. And so I, I share, it, share this with you just to say that if you can make a mistake, I've done it. If you could go wrong, I've done it. And if you want to learn how to fly, learn how to fly from somebody who's flown a plane, crashed, and then flown again. So our course is called, Should You Be an Entrepreneur? It's a home study course. And what it consists of is basically three audio classes that we did. Number one, why should you become an entrepreneur? We talk about the fact that in this time, in this day, Les said it very aptly. He said that the old paradigm of a working 40 years for a company and retiring and getting a gold watch is over. These days, you can hardly work 10 years for a company or five years for a company and the idea of benefits is done. And so when we come out of this pandemic, we need to be looking for ways to create wealth, ways to create financial stability. And entrepreneurship is one of them. We talk in the class about, you know, there are three ways you can uh, achieve financial stability. You can have a job. And that used to work, but it's interesting. The word job and job are the same words. <laughs> and right now, with this pandemic, that might not be the most feasible way, especially if you're over 45 years old. Because if you notice now, the job market is changing and people are learning new things. And unless you're ready to get back in there and learn some new things, then it might not work for you. The second audio is about what it takes to be in your own business. So once you've made a decision that this time it's me in the winner's circle, this time it's me who gets the prize, this time I've really, really made it, this time my dream is realized. Once you've made that decision, then you need to know what it takes to be in your own business. The mindset, the skill set, the, some of those variables that you need to know about that will shorten your learning curve, that will help you avoid the pitfalls. You know, I'm, I'm really addressing, I'm a baby boomer. Les and I are both baby boomers. And the one thing we know is at this point in life, we can't make too many, we can't make any missteps. Every step has got to be sure. So this second audio talks about what it takes to be in your own business. The third audio is the skill set to become your own boss. What do you need to do? Some of the skills you need to do, yeah, just an interesting one is so often we think of entrepreneurship as a, as a one man, a one person operation, but you better get your family involved. One of the principles of entrepreneurship is you really got to get buy-in of your family because that's your, that's your support system. Those are the people close to you. They may be some of the negative ones, but you got to get that buy-in. So we talk about things like that. The importance of networking with other businesses. I see on the line, we have a number of people from uh, Every Dot Black, one of the key organizations in the, uh, in, in the uh, Raleigh-Durham area. And networking of all kinds. We have the Success Mentorship Network, where you get together with like-minded people so that you can learn from them, so that you can increase that learning, shorten the learning curve to get desired results. In addition to the three classes, you have a study guide. And what we've done, you know, when you listen to a lecture, it, you know, it, going back to the old college days, boy, if you don't take good notes, it's almost like you were never there. So the study guide is a written, uh, really compilation of each one of the lectures and summarized and whatnot, so that you can listen to the, I say, listen to the audios, get the study guide and uh, work with that. That then gives you a framework to, to study and to pursue this business idea. You also get coupons. Right now we're in the Christmas season and our book, The 12 Universal Laws of Success, the paperback version is a perfect gift. And anyone who becomes a, uh, who gets our course can get books at a 50% discount. We also plug you in with a mastermind session 
twice a month we do a live mastermind session. As a part of the package, you get to plug into one of our mastermind sessions and see how it works and experience the people there and get the vibrations and see how they work together and support each other and pursue their goals and make things happen. You get a lot of bonus stuff now, folks. And, and you know, I believe in being, being overeducated. You know, you, there's no such thing as being overeducated. Four principles of worth wealth building, and, and we need those right now. How to use the earning principle, the savings principle, the spending principle, the investment principle to turn your life around. Wealth building in trying times, some special insight for what's going on right now. Because if you're going to strike out as a business person, you need to have that insight from folks who've been there and done that. There's a live seminar. This is our seminar on the 12 universal laws of success. And let me tell you, you can listen to this thing and walk through that book and it will be transformative. And then we get the 12 affirmations to live by a poster so that you can go through a daily reprogramming. If you've never been done, done something before, fine, no problem. You can reprogram your mind so that you'll be able to do things you've never done before and do them successfully. So like, I guess the question is with all of that good stuff, you know, they, what does should you be an entrepreneur the home study course, course cost? Well, guess what? How much is it worth? That's, that's, I think, you know, one of the things that we were having a training one day and a man was asking how much did the investment cost? This particular business as an entrepreneur, he was looking at the business and he said, well, how much does it cost? And another man said, well, how much can I make? And so I'm gonna just give you the cost, but look at what it can do for you. The three classes, uh, normally our classes are $97, that's $281. The study guide and the discounts, 84 bucks. The three bonus audios and that long seminar, $290. We're looking at a $655 value. So somebody said, well, Dr. Harris, it's Christmas time. What are we gonna do? Guess what? We're offering you the package for $49. 95. That's more than a 90% discount. You're, and you have to say, well, why? Because we want you to be, benefit from what has we've been blessed to have. We want you to get the benefits of the holes that we've stumbled down, the walls that we bumped into, the, the challenges that we faced. And we want to get you a part of the Success Mentorship Network. Because I believe that if you can hang together, as he said, if we can hang together, we can hang tight. If we can hang tight, nothing is impossible. But guess what? Action is where the rubber hits the road. And so for today, those on this broadcast, what we're doing, the first 100 people who purchased the Should You Be an Entrepreneur Home Study course, we have a special launch price of $39.95. Now, you can't beat that, folks. I mean, I mean, I must really want you to be a part of this network. Yes, I do. Because I know that together, like minds, you know, when two or more gather on one accord, I am the making power, the power to transform, I am among them. And so that's really why we want to get together here. So $39.95, and, and, and I'm going to sweeten the pot some more. If you join us tonight, if you go out and be one of that first hundred people who go to our website and purchase the, the course, then I'm going to throw in a free copy of the 12 Universal Laws of Success audiobook. Now, this is not even on the market yet. So you got the advanced copy, over six and a half hours of recorded, the recorded version of the 12 Universal Laws of Success. You can listen while you're cooped up in your house, you can listen to it over and over and over. Folks, let me tell you something. I don't think I can do any more than that. I just want you to know I want you with us. How do you order? This is key. Go to our website, www.myhomestudycourses.net. www.myhomestudycourses.net. I'll say it one more time. www.myhomestudycourses.net. And all the information is there. You can click on the PayPal button and get your version, get your personal home study course, should you be an entrepreneur. 
Once you enjoy the benefits of the course, if you'd like more information about how you can make money as an affiliate, you know, we're going to have other people marketing some of our courses. We're setting up an affiliate program, but only after you've really benefited the course. If you, if we believe this, if you don't, if it hasn't benefited you, then probably you can't share it with anybody else. You can't sell a movie that you haven't enjoyed. So those of you who would be interested in becoming an affiliate, email me at Herbert. That's a small H actually, Herbert at herbertharris.com. So folks, I think I've told you everything I can tell you. We have to say this, the choice is up to you to go to our website, to get the information, to become a part of something that's gonna change not just the world, but change your world. Any questions, email me, Herbert. Yes at herbertharris.com. Yes, Dr. Rogers. We have a question, uh, Dr. Harris. Yes. Um, Michelle Hill asked the question, is the course applicable to existing entrepreneurs? And if Absolutely. so, how? Absolutely, and it is because as an existing entrepreneur, the, the, the principles are always the same. In other words, when you're thinking of going into business, we're telling you what you need to do. If you're already in business, then you can refine those principles. You know, when, when we were preparing this, there were a number of principles that I was amazed. I thought I knew, <laughs> okay? But once I started researching it and putting the book together, it helped me become better at what I was doing. One of the things, one of the areas that really helped me was in the area of habits. You know, how your habits impact what you're doing so strongly. So even if you're in business right now, it's a great package to get. And if you're in a business where you're inviting other people to join you, it's a great package to get. Thank you so much. Someone just bought it. It's a great package to get because what it does, it can help people make that breakthrough before they can really become effective in your business. So those of you who are network marketers or people who are building sales organizations, this is a great package to give to help them be prepared to be more effective in your business. Any other questions? Yes, the, someone uh, made the point that business so much isn't a straight line upward, but it kind of goes up, down, up, down, up, down. How can the course assist in um, smoothing out that line for a straighter trajectory into success as opposed to avoiding, you know, how can they avoid some of those pitfalls that come with starting a business and running a business? Well, one of the main thing we stress in that class and, then, and, and especially in our uh, mastermind sessions, life is life. Your attitude determines how you relate to it. So one person can see a, a hole in the road as something to fall in and be hurt. Another person can look at the same hole and look at it as an opportunity to learn how to jump further. <laughs> okay. And so uh, when you really go through our course and, and listen to all the audios and videos, the purpose is to help you transform your attitude so that whenever you see a failure, whenever you see a bump in the road, you look at it as an opportunity for greatness. You realize that there, there are only two things that ever happen. You either win or you get a lesson. And so the bumps in the road are always gonna be there, but the attitude towards them can make them either enjoyable and growth lessons, or they can knock you out of the game. Attitude makes the difference. Yes, sir. We have another question, Dr. Harris, and that is, um, how does the course or does it relate to opening a business online since it, it seems now we're going to a digital economy? Well, I'll tell you, the principles online are pretty much the same as the principles offline. The, the course is actually, we are using the online platform because that is what's happening right now. And one of the things about being in an online business that's all that's very important is to be connected to other people. That when you have an online business and you're working by yourself, you can lose enthusiasm, you can lose your, your pacing. And so the course, and in particular, the Success Mentorship Network can be a powerful tool to help you coalesce with other people and build your business. The online platform is the platform of the future, but the people who are really going to be successful at it are those who form networks and connect up with other people online. And so the course really fosters that. And the Success Mentorship Network provides tons and tons of information 
of uh, classes that we've done, how to get out of a rut, how to reprogram your life, all these things that help you make a, be a better person. One of the key principles in the course is that business is really personal development in action. And so to be, if you make a, become a better person, you're going to be a better business person. Excellent. And the last question again is, how can people um, be in touch and how can they order the course? They go to order the course, www.myhomestudycourses, that's plural, dot net, www.myhomestudycourses.net. And if you have any trouble, go to Herbert, H-E-R-B-E-R-T at HerbertHarris.com and we'll get you all straightened out. Great. All I'll right. That concludes. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us today. I hope that this, this experience will benefit you and help you be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have whatever you want to have. Because the best is yet to come. And so it is. <laughs>